because some people will tune in and say he criticizes black leaders, but then says he's against aborting half the black people. And some people send me emails and say, I don't understand the paradox. Why don't you like Obama? And why do you attack the, the, the mainline black culture that's sold by Hollywood as an overwrite of not just black culture, but uh, that was the test case, but the entire culture system? Well, I mean, isn't it clear? I'm for justice. I'm against killing 52% of black people before they're born. Does that mean then I like black people from birth being taught I'm an evil devil and that I'm the cause of all the problems and that, and, that, and, that, and that being white is inherently bad? No, I don't like that. See, I want justice. See, I sit there and I look at each issue and I decide what is justice. And then I think, how would I want to be treated? And I think, what, what makes my soul feel good? What makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing? What makes my conscience feel good? See, see, I'm against forcibly injecting every Mexican girl at the age of 11 with Gardasil that will reduce their fertility and will give them autoimmune problems and will sterilize and kill some of them. Two years ago, they began the forced inoculation of every Mexican girl in Mexico. And people will say, Alex, good. Look, you don't like all the illegals pouring across, taking the jobs, voting to take your guns. Hey, shut up about it. Kill the Mexicans. See, see, right there, folks. No. I don't like every Mexican radio, TV channel being anti-gun, anti-freedom, anti-gringo, anti-black. Funded by the Ford Foundation to create balkanization and division. I want those people to be prosperous. I want them to live. I want them to discover freedom. I want them to have a future. They're human beings. I, I mean, at a common sense level, folks, not just at a re put you so level or karma level, if you want to use the, the Eastern example of that, do you think you're going to sit there as a fake, trendy liberal and support the sterilization of the Mexicans and, and giving them diabetes and all the other soft kill programs that are going on and that that's not going to blow back on you and your family? You don't have any God-fearing in you to feel the absolute evil in that and the incredible danger? That's the thing about Planned Parenthood and the liberals. The mainline liberals don't even know. But look at the genius of it. You tell Mexicans how much you love them because, you know, because they support turning guns in 90 plus percent. In the polls I covered yesterday it was in Reuters, it was in Politico. That's what it is to be Mexican is to turn guns in and worship government while they shoot every one of your girls up so they won't be able to have babies. What the hell is that? What is wrong with people? I don't need to sit up here and apologize to Mexicans that I'm sick of hearing them buy into the New World Order crud. It's time to break with the New World Order. They want you deader than a hammer. Same thing goes for black people, white people, all of you idiots, all of you morons. It's time to stop playing games. It's time to get down to what's really going on. And we're going to play it at 33 after. Soylent Green, folks, it's made out of people, and it's real, and it's a suicide death cult, and I'm not part of it. I'm not into unplugging grandma. I don't care if she's black. I don't care if she's white. I'm not into killing innocent people. I'm not into dumbing people down. I'm not into death. I'm not into lies. I'm not into fraud. I want freedom, and I want it right now. And that's what we're talking about, is what is in your mind, what is in your soul. This system is pure evil. Rand Paul comes out and says, we got to basically open the borders up or the Republican Party has no future. And that's true at the paradigm level of going, if we're friendly, we'll open the borders up to, the, to 7 billion people. And we'll let them come here and get welfare and then vote. They're not going to vote for that. They're, they believe that all these people believe that they, they take the guns, they take the kids, they go along with the system. They ban the homeschooling. That's going to happen because the immigrants are indoctrinated now that the government is their mama, giving them milk. Just like Romulus and Remus, the New World Order wolf, suckling them. Yeah, with poison, with deadly Gardasil shots, on record to sterilize you. On record, building the abortuaries in all your neighborhoods and then selling the fact that, oh, it's because we're liberal. No, the only way to sell liquid death is to pose and package it as liberal. The globalists are suiciding every country out there. They're suiciding the family. And everything they push is pure evil, period.
that the globalists employ. It doesn't mean that there aren't real issues in there and real beefs and, and real vendettas on all different sides and different perspectives. But what I'm saying is the globalists are like an alien species from deep space. I'm not saying literally, but using the allegory. Who are here to overwrite everything with a computer robot takeover in their own words to replace humans. Human life has always been cheap since the time of the pharaohs and Babylon. Now it's garbage to be carried out and thrown away at the curb. And we're being taught collectively to get into this and to see survival of the species as death. That doesn't mean there aren't problems in our civilization. It doesn't mean there isn't overpopulation in some areas. It doesn't mean there aren't some dirty technologies. It doesn't mean that we don't need to work together globally to fix these problems. The issue is the globalists running it are super bad people who even target the smartest and most virtuous to control them because they want death and destruction. They're not trying to save the planet. They believe they're going to become God and merge with the machines in their own words. Look it up. I'd say this 15 years ago. People thought it was crazy. Now it's all over the news. It's in every movie. You see it on CNN telling you how great it is. Oh, your kids are all going to have brain chips. Oh, the military's getting them. See how it's all just being announced. And then the system uses political correctness to go turn your guns in or you're racist. Support Obamacare or you're racist. And I will not sit here and apologize when somebody comes up to me on the street and says, you know, I like your show, but I heard you're racist. It's usually white yuppies that do it. Or a Hispanic person walks over and goes, I really like your show, but this doesn't happen very often. But it happens sometimes, though, you know, and I, I'm pro Second Amendment, but, you know, are you against Hispanics because you, you don't want amnesty? And I'm like, can I have amnesty down to Mexico? Can I go down there and have everything free? The system's corrupt. Why does it want it? Why does both parties want it? Because it's game over, folks, when the globalists get enough people in here who will vote to take the liberties away. Because we're now a democracy, not a republic. They brought us into a democracy where people believe that what the public votes for, you get. If they vote to bring slavery back, slavery comes back in. No, that, in the republic, that's illegal. You go, well, then why was it legal? Because they never fully realized it. They almost outlawed it in 1798. Did you know that? Did you know Thomas Jefferson tried to do that when he was president as well? While it was being outlawed around the rest of the world, it wasn't outlawed until the 1880s in some areas of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, white slaves. But see, that's never taught in schools because, it, because then people wouldn't have an inferiority complex that, oh, the only slaves are black and the only people that have ever, you know, people are like, what are you trying to do, cover up the plight of black people? As if a black person's whole future and identity was that some of their ancestors were oppressed when everybody's ancestors were oppressed. Sure, that's part of your strength that you now survive and you're here. That's part of your will. That's not some weak thing. But your identity goes forward, and it's certainly not the New World Order with its new slavery coming in. It's total slavery over the human species and over the human processy. That is the real enemy. That is the total enslavement, the theft of the will, the theft of the spirit, the, the trafficking in men's souls that Revelations talks about. That's the big threat, and that's what we should come together around. If the globalists are for gun control, we're against it. If they're for open borders, we're against it. If they're for world government, we're against it because they're the authors of it. And everything they do is done to undermine and enslave. They tell America, don't be nationalistic, accept world government. They tell England the same thing. They tell Germany the same thing. As they flood all those countries with people politically who vote to totally enslave the nation. Do you understand that? We're on the march. You really the have Empire's something special coming up. Run. The Soylent Alex Green Jones piece. And the GCN Radio At the start Network. of the next segment, you want to record this.